We are back in Vietnam and specifically Northern Vietnam to do an entire trip around this unbelievably beautiful part of the country. We'll be eating all the glorious food in Hanoi, climbing Dragon Mountains in Ninh Vinh, going on a five-star luxury cruise in Halong Bay and staying with the locals in the villages of Sapa Valley. All of that will be coming up on the channel but today we're in Hanoi and there's no better way to discover a new place than to do a food tour and specifically a street food tour. Welcome here. Thank you. So yummy always. Wow. And coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. From one and a half hour to uh, nearly two hour. Okay, cool. Okay. And we're filming a video today. Yeah, oh, for right. YouTube. Say hello. Oh, hey. Nice to be here, right? <laughs> Today we're exploring the charming old quarter in Hanoi, a culturally rich neighborhood that dates back to the 13th century. It used to be the residential, manufacturing and commercial center where each street was dedicated to a specific craft, leading to street names like Silver Street and Shoe Street. The colonial architecture, bustling street markets, charming alleys, ancient temples, local artisans and dynamic nightlife make it an immersive and truly authentic experience in the heart of Hanoi. Right, we are walking down some of the streets and he's just explaining to us that each street literally has a name like chicken or bamboo. This is currently Bamboo Street here in the Old Quarter. They're selling a ton of bamboo there. And this used to be the chicken streets. They used to only sell chickens in that street about a hundred years ago. But no more chickens are being sold anymore. <laughs> One thing I always loved about Vietnam are the tiny little table and chairs on the side of the road. They always give you some extras, got some chilies there, lime, some more chilies. I think those are super spicy. We've got soy sauce, fish sauce, sriracha, salt and pepper, all the things you need. Tony, what are we going to eat today on the food tour? Uh, food tour, okay. Uh, firstly, I think uh, we can eat a uh, pho. Yeah. yeah. For the main rain noodle soup with nice. chicken. Nice. This is a special food in uh, Hanoi. Nice. This is a traditional food in Vietnam, but okay. special food in Hanoi. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, secondly, okay. secondly, I think we can eat our um, bread, bread with egg or bread with uh, pork. Okay. By me. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. Okay. And this one, I would like you to eat uh, salad, papaya salad with uh, beef. Okay. okay. Nice. Yeah. And then we can eat uh, fruits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Some uh, seasonal fruit. Okay, right. nice. And then uh, lastly, I think we can drink egg coffee. Egg coffee. Oh, right. yeah. All right, that's nice. some yeah. egg, egg coffee. Bit of rice powder. Bit of rice powder. Rice powder. Rice powder. And there are some more ingredients with uh, stock, with uh, sugar, with uh, garlic. Yeah, onion. It's a fresh onion. Yeah, that's uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> the soup they cook from uh, boiled chicken. You can eat with lamb or chili. Okay. Right. This is a chili sauce. Hot, very good. A little bit hot, but really delicious. Yeah. If you eat cold, not uh, delicious. The lactic acid of lime really helps clean your wooden chopsticks. I learned that on TikTok, guys. TikTok has educated me so much. But yeah, and then inside. Woo. Are they very spicy? Uh, are they spicy? Okay. Okay. Yeah, are spicy. Okay. A little bit, yeah. So let me... Uh, yeah, you can eat your chili sauce, not so spicy. Okay. Yeah, fresh chili is more spicy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Right. Uh, Namfi. Namfi, yeah. yeah. Namfi, yeah. yeah. She said that yes. where do you come from? Yeah, Namfi. Yeah, I come from Namfi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Namfi in Vietnam, in South Africa. South Africa, yeah. yeah. Namfi, South Africa. Welcome here. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, so yummy always. Look at the steam. I finished? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Small tummy. Ah, oh, okay. We keep coming and eating something later. Say, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. You say it to her. Thank you, ma'am. Come, come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. So when you get to Vietnam, you're gonna have to cross a lot of streets and honestly, in the beginning, when we first got here, 
It was a traumatic experience. <laughs> there was a dog on the bike. There's no traffic lights or anything. You just have to walk slowly and steadily and everyone's gonna drive around you. Don't be scared, just be calm. <laughs> oh no, they go tobacco. For men, not for women. It, uh, smoking really strong. strong. Yeah. But like, in here there are water to here, water inside. Okay. Little bamboo. They put cigarette here and oh. with a lighter, then they smoke. Oh, cigarettes? Yeah, cigarette. Yeah. They go tobacco. Okay. <laughs> Local market. They go food market. Okay. Selling food, fruits, vegetables, something for lunch or for dinner. Jackfruit. And uh, avocado. Oh, wow. Very avocado. Big Can you guys guess what this street is called? Toy Street! <laughs> I love how they name the streets according to what they sell on the streets and they're selling a ton of toys here. We always maintain that food tours are the best way to see a city because honestly you learn so much. The guide is just pointing out random things that are so interesting and we get to learn more about Vietnam than just, uh, no thank you, ah. okay, thank you. On to my head. Oh, not today. <laughs> okay, okay, I not today, tomorrow, tomorrow after Nan Bin. You take it, thank okay. you. <laughs> um, so I'm distracted. <laughs> Every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights, there's a night market here in the center of Hanoi. So you can come and get some street food here, some souvenirs, fruit, all sorts of stuff. There's lots of tourists, and it starts at 7 p.m. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So good to keep in mind, guys. I'm trying to not break my ass while I'm walking down these streets and vlogging though. No bum, no problem. Whoa! It's so narrow, sorry! I think that is the narrowest building okay. I've ever ah. seen, ever! It's so small! Look at it, it's so cute! One thing I've noticed here in Hanoi is all the power boxes and things are decorated with paintings and stuff. I don't know who did it, if it's the government or what, but I think it's so sweet. It's like artists that just go ahead and paint them. This city is so colorful and beautiful and picturesque and holds so much history. I think it's my favorite city in Vietnam. And you? I'm actually loving the character. It's definitely got a lot of history and culture. It's very rich. Banh mi. Banh mi. Banh mi. Chung. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> All right, next stop is obviously time to eat a banh mi. And this one is banh mi chung, which is basically a nice baguette filled with egg and a whole bunch of veggies. It's the most iconic meal here in Vietnam, basically, after pho. So I'm excited for this. <laughs> Your banh mi is completely customizable. You can have pork, sausage, chicken, eggs, just you can go veg if you want. So you basically just come to the stand and tell the lady what you want and she'll make it for you if she can understand you. <laughs> Are you having fun? Guys, I'm having so much fun. I just think Vietnam is such a lively place. The people are so nice and friendly. And I remember when we used to work here and teach English here in Vietnam. Honestly, people are so full of energy. They talk so fast, they loud and I remember in the school I used to get headaches every day from the loudness to be honest and the hooting and everything but being back here now and not being a teacher is fantastic. Thank you. Uh, it's okay, no glass. Red got a side on here. It's a really nice beer. I hate beer but I like Saigon beer. Saigon beer, remember. And in Vietnam they put ice Ah, uh, yes. Ice in the beer, right? They put ice inside, right? Mm. But uh, some people, they don't like drinking good ice. Yeah. They like drink beer, you know, crisp cold yeah. beer. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. okay, for you. Peace tea. Thank you. Are you going to have something? I order a bread. I eat bread with you. Okay. Now peach I'm going to go with the peach tea. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> good? Mm. <laughs> okay. For you first. Which one? Yeah. Okay, anyone? Same. <laughs> oh, so warm. It's fresh. Fresh, dude. Yeah, fresh. Cheers, Tony. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>
Em ơi, anh nhờ tiếp không? Em chụp luôn kìa The bun is hot as so if it's been baked like a couple of minutes ago. The eggs are warm, the radish and the cucumbers nice and crispy and fresh. We've got some chili inside. Just love a bun me, guys. Although bun me is actually quite a breakfast meal, and I remember teaching we used to have them <laughs> for breakfast. I don't know if I like them for breakfast, but lunch, dinner. Yes. Thank you. Bye. That was a super popular banh mi spot. Like I said, that's the best banh mi we've ever had. It was sweet. Our guy told us that the food in Hanoi is different to the food in Ho Chi Minh City where we used to live. So it's such a nice change. I actually think I prefer banh mi's here in Hanoi. We can sit here, right? Yeah, yeah. Hi, look at my little chair. Uh, so the next food I would like to eat is uh, green papaya salad. Uh-huh. With beep. Okay. okay. Uh, <coughs> I don't think there's a smaller chair in the world actually. <laughs> That's ridiculous. The food in Vietnam they say no. No? No more. No more? Yeah, no more. Right. It looks like a spring roll. Yeah. In rice yeah. paper. This is a fresh spring roll. No more deep fried spring rolls, they need to fry with cooking oil. This is uh. a fresh spring roll, no need cooking. Yeah. Fry a little bit of uh, you know, pork and a little bit of uh, green pepper and uh, minced or coriander. Okay, and right. this is a peanut, peanut uh, fish sauce? Yeah, peanut, peanut fish, fish. Peanut oh. fish sauce. Okay. Eating peanut. together, all together. Wow. All right? Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Okay. This is beef? Beef, yeah. yeah. Dry beef. This is dry beef. Not okay. fresh. Mm. Dry beef. Wow. Yeah. It's super I sweet. I have you to It's kind of like jerky or biltong. I have you, have you. A little bit. Ah, and then it's better. topped with peanuts <laughs> and coriander and green papaya. <laughs> so it's actually really quite yummy. Okay, we're well done. Okay, so let's mix it. Yeah, make it already. Mm. <laughs> I like it with the mint. Game changer. <laughs> so the papaya is very crispy. And the beef is also very chewy and dry. And then it's got peanuts on it. So vinegar, fish sauce and sugar on the top of it with some fresh mint and coriander. It's really interesting. Alright, time to try the sp the fresh spring roll and you dip it in a fish sauce with peanuts. <laughs> yeah, that's a right people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Spring rolls are everywhere in Vietnam. They're like a staple. Mm. So fresh. What is that, Tony? Uh, Logan. Logan, yeah, Logan. Very sweet. Like a lychee. Like a lychee, but smaller, but sweeter. More mm. delicious than lychee. Lychee is f season finished two months ago. Now the Logan season. Are you excited to try this? In your country? In South Africa? No, longer in South Africa. Even a lot of fruits. Oh, Vietnam is an agricultural country. Yeah, yeah, a lot very. of fruits. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I want this big one. Qua nyan. 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 Qua uh, uh, sugar, please. <laughs> 50? Okay. We are just sitting here and we spotted donuts and Rhett and I love donuts. So we just had to ask the lady if we can have some too. It's not part of the tour but it's too tempting not to buy. <laughs> Which one should I do? Sugar? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's so good. There's like icing sugar on the outside. It's made from rice powder. So it doesn't taste wheaty like a normal donut. And did you say green bean inside? Green bean inside, sure. Yeah. Green bean and sugar inside. I love this. <laughs> green tea. It's so popular in Vietnam. Yeah. yeah. Even popular than coffee. And then they put hot water here. Mm -hmm. And then coffee, put like this, mm -hmm. flowing down to yeah. the glass. One egg inside? And inside. And then mix them. And then they cook with coffee. Egg coffee, dude. So he explained how you make egg coffee. They basically whip a chicken egg. They whip it, whip it, whip it. And then they mix it with the coffee. 
that they make with the special Vietnamese filter. So they cook the egg and the coffee mixed together on the stove, I guess, and then that's how they make egg coffee. Then it gets all like thick and creamy, and it is so sweet. It's basically a dessert. I think I'm gonna stay up all night because it's sweet and it's coffee and it's 8 p.m. <laughs> they drink coffee at night all the time. Like I don't know how they sleep, honestly, because the coffee here is so strong. I'm ready to dig in. Can I have my egg coffee, please? You drink coffee, cold, cold, not not good, not delicious. <laughs> oh holy shit! Did you get the coffee at the end? It's strong. I don't know how they make that so good. Egg, guys, egg. Coffee culture here is so good. They even have specific coffee shops where you can obviously buy the beans. Then they've got these old grinders on sale, which I really want to get and take home. You guys know I love taking little artifacts home. I think from Vietnam, I'd really like to take a coffee filter or coffee grinder home. It just, it goes with Vietnam. That's all I remember about Vietnam is coffee. Because <laughs> I needed it while teaching Vietnamese kids. Yo, they were hectic. That's basically the end of our food tour. It was such a great start to our time here in Hanoi. Full tummies, full hearts. We are so excited for the rest of our trip here in Northern Vietnam with Vietnam Escape Tours. I'll put their details down in the description for you. Stay tuned for those videos. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.